So, let's get started. Start always a pint glass, and I'm going to use fresh ginger. Um, fresh ginger is really excellent. Uh, the spice and just the complex flavor you get from ginger is so awesome in drinks. I'm going to use about uh, four, about four quarter size pieces of ginger, and then I'm going to add three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. It's going to add a acidity brightness to this, and I'll muddle this up. Got to press on the ginger a little bit because uh, it's a hard root, and want to release all those spicy ginger flavors. And usually when I muddle something like this, like ginger or some kind of herb or vegetable even, um, I usually try to add some form of liquid and I usually choose the citrus. Because um, I guess, I mean, just seems that acid would help bring the flavor out of whatever I'm muddling and drink. So, just kind of smell it. And when you can really smell the ginger coming through in the nose, you know that you've gotten enough ginger flavor throughout the drink. So that's now all muddled up. I got all the ginger uh, spice infused now into the lemon juice. And then I'll just add my other liquid ingredients on top of that, give it a good shake, and strain. So as the sweetener of this, um, this is where I went wrong in the first video. I used honey and it was really hard to incorporate the honey into the liquid. And so I've previously thinned out this honey. Uh, this is a honey syrup, very easily made just by using two parts honey to one part water and just heat it up and mix it together. Uh, different than sugar syrup because sugar is already a, like a dry product whereas honey is already a liquid form. So you don't have to, it just changes the ratio. So you add two parts honey to one part water and it comes out to be uh, a good um, sweetness, a good, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sugar quantity, sugar percentage really uh, of the liquid so that the in the volume you're adding, you'll, you're getting the right amount of sugar. So I'm going to add one ounce to this, and it's going to add both sugar, sweetness, and flavor of the honey. This is just simple clover honey, that pretty much the most widely available honey. And um, next for the pear, I, uh, before again. I used um, some fresh pear and muddled that, which ended up becoming very pulpy. Whereas now I'm going to be using the Kern's mango, or excuse me, the Kern's pear nectar, um, and it's just it has really great pear flavor and it adds texture as well. It gives the drink a nice texture, not too like not too watery, I guess, it because it has kind of like a puree in it as well, so it brings out the texture, gives it more velvety feel. And so I'll add one ounce of this. And then for the brandy, Corbel, probably in my opinion one of the best inexpensive uh, California produced brandies pretty much available. Uh, I would use this brandy for pretty much any mixing purposes um, and it's really good enough to drink straight. Um, they use, I believe Corbell uses Jack Daniels barrels to age their product and they really get a lot of flavor into the brandy from the barrels and it's not not too oaky driven but it does have a complex kind of oaky 
but still com some sweeter, like stone fruit kind of flavors. And with these flavors, the, gin the spice of the ginger and the, the fruity pear and the honey, it just blends so well with the, the brandy. And this is the, the VSOP, which is going to be a little more complex and a little softer flavor than the regular Corbel brandy. And I'm going to use two ounces of this. Really gives it a nice color. Again, the VSOP brandy is a bit darker due to longer aging in the barrels. So if you're using the regular Corbel brandy, it'll come out a touch lighter. But I'll just add some ice and give this a good shake to then finish the drink. Sure you give it a, a good shake to continue to help the, the ginger flavor infuse into the drink and get all those flavors to marry together. Take my chilled martini glass and since I got all those little bits of fresh ginger that I don't want to be drinking, I will double strain this or fine strain this through a, a tea strainer works really good and as you can see far easier to strain than in the previous video and I can smell this already it is so good this is such a great drink and it smells amazing the garnish on this I wasn't quite sure what to do so I'm gonna let you decide what you wanna do for a garnish on this drink as you may want, um, you could use a lemon twist, which would add a, a brighter citrus aroma to it, or a little slice of ginger, which would enhance the ginger aromas, or a slice of pear to highlight the pear flavors in the drink. Uh, all of those would definitely work with the drink, just being slightly different in the way that you would perceive the drink using the different garnishes but this really is an excellent drink worth your effort much easier than the previous one I made and uh, I must say it's probably much better <laughs> and the other thing that I'll mention about this drink is w one of the reasons why I really love this drink is that it is so easy to use pretty much any other base spirit. Uh, brandy, of course, as I've said, works excellent with this, but you could use any wood-aged product, really. Um, any aged rum, um, a, a, like maybe an Añejo tequila, or maybe even a Reposado would be good. Uh, definitely a, a whiskey. You could even use a blended Scotch whiskey and some of those smoky flavors would definitely add a different dynamic with the spice of the ginger and the sweetness of the of the pear. Um, again, gin would, is also an excellent product to use in this drink as it'll add more complexity of spices, uh, more botanical flavors. Um, I guess you could use vodka if you must but it really would not be adding anything to the drink, just alcohol. And that's not really what this drink is about, really. Vodka does have its purpose, don't get me wrong, but in this drink, it doesn't. So go with uh, something wood-aged, and you'll really see why this is such a great, scrumptious drink. And it is a red napkin worthy cocktail. Enjoy it.